Today, members of Occupy Los Angeles met with executives from Wells Fargo. This is February 6th, and you're watching Inside Out News. I think that the primary significance of it was that the, uh, um, Wells Fargo felt it was necessary to meet with representatives, uh, or, or activists in, rather, uh, the Occupy movement. Uh, and I think that, that they extended the invitation to us because they recognized that the Occupy movement is the spearhead of a massive move that's taking place among the population throughout the country, and that that has to be taken seriously. Five members of Occupy Los Angeles met with several executives from Wells Fargo. They flew down to Los Angeles from their San Francisco headquarters to get what it is that occupiers dislike about the current foreclosure crisis. The occupiers held a press conference this evening discussing how the meeting went. Because of the involvement of Occupy the Rose Parade, they had a, a originally come up to uh, Occupy the Rose Parade because they were worried that maybe the Occupy movement would disrupt the two floats they had in that parade, and they were the biggest sponsor. And um, they said that they needed to digest what we had presented to them today. They basically gave us a brief presentation with a lot of numbers and a lot of data, and I think for us, we all have worked with families face to face. We, we see the, the suffering that they have in the community. And I think there's a lot more that not only Wells Fargo can do, but the other banks as well. Today was also the deadline for the Attorney General foreclosure settlement. The settlement includes five of the major U.S. corporate banks, including Wells Fargo, Bank of America, J.P. Morgan Chase, and other banks. The deadline was supposed to be for the attorney generals to include their states in the settlement. The attorney general for the state of California, Camilla Harris, early on had stated that she found the settlement to be inadequate for California. And a few weeks ago, she reaffirmed her opposition to the settlement. Since Friday, the White House has been working very closely with Camilla Harris as well as Eric Schneiderman of New York. The Attorney General for New York was given an appointment to a special committee in which he could in do further investigations into the bank separate from the settlement. In fact, Schneiderman filed a lawsuit on Friday against three of the banks that are part of the settlement. This lawsuit has upset these particular banks who are part of the settlement and will cause possible delay in whether or not this settlement will come to fruition. Again, the settlement was supposed to have been agreed on today, but several of the attorney general, generals who have pulled out and who the White House has been trying to pull back in have decided to delay their approval or disapproval of the settlement at least another couple of days. Today's meeting with Wells Fargo was significant in regard to the settlement that has been going on between the attorney generals and these large banks. The occupiers have serious issues with Wells Fargo's treatment of homeowners and what they see as illegal foreclosures. A significant message that they put out in their press conference this evening was that the one thing that they noticed, despite all the figures and the grand presentation that Wells Fargo put out today, was that they lacked the humanity that they could not feel a sense of remorse for what they had done to the homeowners, which, again, occupiers and the Occupy movement overall feels has been a very great injustice, that there is a, a huge crime going on with the way that these foreclosures have been happening across the country. The state of California has the highest level of foreclosures, with one in five of foreclosures being in California alone. Last week, Occupy LA held a protest in front of Kamala Harris's state office in downtown Los Angeles to push her to continue to be stalwart in her opposition of this settlement. We don't comply. We say occupy. Don't comply. We say occupy. It's yet to be seen whether or not Kamala Harris will listen to their call since it's been recently reported in many media outlets, including CNN and Reuters, AP, 
that it sounds like Kamala Harris is coming close to a deal with the White House and may very soon sign on to this attorney general settlement. What is your response to the attorney general possibly signing on? Well, I hope she doesn't, you know, because she has promised that any settlement that they have right now on the table is not good for Californians. So basically she will be going against uh, what she had previously said. Uh, I think it's, uh, uh, the settlement is, is not good. Uh, I think that based on the crimes that uh, the banks have committed against the nation uh, is, is, is basically pennies on the dollar. So I hope that she remains strong, that she doesn't waver and that she follows suit alongside with uh, the Attorney General for New York and file a lawsuit against these major banks. This wraps up our report for tonight. We are standing in front of the California Endowment Building in downtown Los Angeles. This is Margot Paez signing off for Inside Out News. Good night.